Hey y'all, it's Kendra Denise. How is everybody doing? So today I thought it would be fun. You guys, I am officially monetized after eight and a half months. So today I thought I'd go over why I even got into YouTube and running my own boutique. It was purses, y'all. The love that I have for purses. Okay. So I wanted to go over like maybe like 10, 11, 12 of my favorite purses, y'all. Okay. I'm so excited, y'all. Hard work really does pay off. I will say that. So anyway, y'all. This is a M C M. This is a beautiful bag, y'all. And it's in my favorite color. Look at that, y'all. Oh my God. Now, I got this purse off of eBay. I really do trust buying my purses off of eBay, y'all. Because they make sure that they're authentic. And like if the buyer is selling fakes, they can get their eBay store closed down. So I really do trust it because what's the use of selling like one fake purse to get your whole account shut down? You got the brown at the top. Now, the MSRP on this purse is $780. I paid, I think I was $300 and something dollars all in with the shipping. Now look at this, y'all. She is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Now, I really don't carry her that much. I've carried her like two times. Let me show y'all the bottom really quick. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the detail. Look at the stitch on that purse, y'all. That's when you know someone took their time. But yeah, she's one of my favorites. So MCM, I'll insert a picture. No, I like I said, I do trust eBay with my purses. I get a lot of my purses off of eBay. Or I'll just go over to the outlet mall. Austin has the outlet mall where they have the Michael Kors. They have the Kate Spade. They have Coach. And then we have another outlet mall out in um, San Marcos, y'all. They have the Louis Vuitton. Tory Burch. So, yes. This is one of my favorites. So I thought today would be fun. Because normally I'm talking about, you know, reselling, going to DDs, what's sold. But I said, you know what? I'm going to do a video of my beautiful purses. Okay, here's the next one. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is a Michael Kors cream and pink. Beautiful bag, y'all. Look at that. Now, Michael Kor and Louis Vuitton, they're my favorite two designers. But I don't know. I feel like MCM is tying with these bags. I'll work me a whole part-time job, y'all, just to purchase me a couple bags. <laughs> Look at the stitch. Someone took their time with that bag. Y'all, I got my Cody. I made me some lemonade. <laughs> um, Look at that, y'all. Look at the sides. Oh my goodness, y'all love me a nice bag. And I used to sell a lot of high-end bags, but when I started selling all these plus-size clothes, they sold like hotcakes, and I probably done sold over, well over 200, I mean 2,000 clothing items as far as plus-size. Okay, so look, this has the long strap. See that, y'all? And I am so appreciative of all my subscribers because, I mean, who knew about Kay Denise eight and a half months ago? Except for me and my family and my friends. <laughs> and it's just amazing 
how I don't even show my face in the videos. I'm just pretty busted showing people how I make money from out of my little apartment down here in Round Rock, Texas. And the love I have for purses. And how I pretty much accidentally started a plus size business just by selling all my old clothes. Matter of fact, I'm going to insert a picture, y'all. I was, I was a thick little chick, y'all. I'm going to insert a picture of me before and then me now. Here you go. So here's the back, y'all. This purse is absolutely beautiful. And I have like stuff in. I'm going to see if I can see the MSRP. The MSRP on this purse, y'all, was $448. And then I also have a brown and orange one just like this, y'all. Okay, I'll be right back. And here is the orange and brown one, y'all. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. There was a blue one in the same design that I was thinking about getting. Look at the stitch, y'all. Now you could tell somebody took their time and made sure this purse was going to last for a long time. And like I said, I started off as a purse business and I was, you know, selling the high-end purses, the Gucci, Tory Burch, Michael Kors, but I know I feel like it's easier doing the clothes or easy to ship out. I sell multiples of clothing items. She's so pretty, y'all. And then, of course, she has the long strap, too. So sometimes when I go to DDs, I'll throw my little two phones up in here, throw my, you know, my wallet, um, wrap her around me, and I'll be out, y'all. Going to do my little shopping. Look at her, y'all. Isn't she beautiful? And if y'all didn't know, I collect purses and cups. I love the two. Just something I do. I love it. I'm actually going to go purse shopping um, and cup shopping. Maybe, um, probably next Friday, maybe. And of course, I bring y'all along with me, you know, because I love making my content. I really enjoy doing it. Then I also want to show y'all this one, y'all. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you've already seen this purse before. This is one of my favorite bags, y'all, that I actually, I got this maybe two or three months ago. She is my DKNY shipping bag, y'all. And y'all probably already seen that video. Now, if y'all didn't already know, DKNY is also Donna Karen. Donna Karen, New York. This bag is so beautiful. Like even when I'm walking up to HEB, look at that y'all. Isn't she beautiful? I could just wrap her around me, grab me some items and come on back home y'all. And I also have a Donna Karen brown leather purse that I wanted to show y'all. It's one of my favorites too. And I also have a gray one like this, but it's out in the garage, y'all. So let's go to the next purse, okay? This is so much fun, y'all. I love making content. It is, I just love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, y'all, here's the next one. This is a Burgundy Kate Spade, New York. Pretty bag, y'all. And I really like this one because look, it has the little logo. The spade logo she's a cute little baby i do have like a little scratch on this one but i really don't carry her that much but she's beautiful when i was getting into selling my kate spade purses i had got this one and um i got this one for myself y'all because what i had did y'all let, let me t let me do a little quick story time what i had did was i had sold um 19 purses to this little young lady. And that's when back then we had like a snowstorm, right? And um, she bought the 19 jelly purses for $309. They really would have been $500. They was like $29 a piece. And there was a snowstorm going on. So she couldn't get her inventory, right? So she gets a hold of me off of Facebook Marketplace, of course, my best selling platform. And I always say that, and it still is, because I had some pickup orders and some shipping out orders the other day. And um, 
she found me and she bought all 19 purses. Then after that, I went to the Kate Spade store with the money and bought four Kate Spade purses for, I think it was like $350. I might've added a little bit to it. And then it was like the MSRP on these purses were like uh, $1,500. I kept this one and I sold the other two. Actually, I sold two on Poshmark. I'll insert the pictures right here. Okay. Okay, y'all, let's keep going. Now, this is a Tory Burch, y'all. That's her logo. A pretty burgundy. I got a car to get in here, y'all. Excuse that. I always keep my purses stuffed. Do y'all do that? I really do take really good care of my purses. You know, I raise my children, and I really just have so much fun collecting my bags, y'all, and my cups. You know, you spend over, what, 27, 28 years raising kids. And then you start collecting purses, y'all. It's so much doggone fun. <laughs> so there's the logo right there. Now, I got her from the buy, sell, trade, y'all. She was over there for $140. But I didn't really want to spend no money, right? So what I did is I took like some of my purses that were not selling and a few clothing items and the buy sell trade she's a little dusty y'all excuse her um the buy sell trade place gave me three hundred dollars so what i did is i went up in there um and i used my credit and i bought her for 140 out of the $300, because I had took a lot of stuff over there, y'all. Like, I'd be taking, like, two or $300 MSRP purses over there to them. So, I bought this for $140, and then I also bought a few items for the boutique. Now, I really love her. Very good quality. Sorry about that lighting, y'all. This this light might be a little too bright in here. Um, see, I got these really bright lights in my dining area, which is good for, when like, when I'm taking pictures or whatever. But y'all, she's so beautiful. Now, I did start off selling Tory Burch. I sold a couple on Macari. I'll insert a picture. Here you go. And then I did also sell a few on the Poshmark. I sold this really cute. It was like a bucket bag. Kate's, I mean, not Kate Spade. Um, Tory Burch on Poshmark, y'all. And I'm going to insert that too. Okay, here you go. Oh my goodness, y'all. This bag is so beautiful. I hardly ever carry her. This is a Michael Kors beautiful pink. It's like a darker pink color, y'all. Now my daughter got me this bag, y'all, for either Christmas or my birthday. It has stars all over her. Look at the detail, y'all. Of course, I got it, got it stuffed. There's like a little throw blanket up in her. <laughs> I Because I just, I have to keep my purses, you know, stuffed. Take care, really good care of them. She is so beautiful, y'all. Look at the detail. When I say I love me a nice bag, y'all, I love me a nice bag. But yeah, my daughter got me this bag. She is so cute, y'all. So I really don't even wear her that much, but I mean, look at look at her. And if y'all are purse lovers like me, I take them really. I think, matter of fact, my daughter got me this purse when I was still living in Abilene. Okay, there's a little pocket on there, and look at the detail, y'all. Like she is so beautiful. Isn't she beautiful, y'all? Now, this is just what I love to do. I love me a nice bag, y'all. I just feel like it just makes the whole outfit. I don't care what you got on. You can have on a $2 dress. You pop that purse on there, on your shoulder. Oh, my goodness. You be Y'all, look at this. She is so beautiful. Now, you be strutting, walking down the way. 
looking cute, y'all. Y'all know how it be. I feel like the purse makes that whole outfit, y'all. <laughs> how is everybody doing today? It's the weekend, y'all. Y'all, when I say that this Michael Kors bag is the most beautiful bag I have ever seen, this is a pink, it's like a patent leather, y'all. If y'all didn't know that, look at that, y'all. Look at the detail on that purse. It's stuffed with a pillow, y'all, so excuse that. Look at that. I got this off of Amazon, y'all. I had never seen such a pretty, sorry about that lighting, y'all. I had never seen such a pretty pink leather design in a bag. Look at that, y'all. Oh, my goodness. And like I said, I got this off of Amazon. I forgot the MSRP, but I know I paid at least three hundred and something dollars for this bag and i remember i had one down to dallas and i was carrying this bag and my niece was like dang auntie where did you get that bag i've never seen that one and i didn't want to tell nobody because i don't want people to copy i want to be different i've never seen this michael core bag even in the michael course i've never seen nobody carrying this bag y'all so i got that on amazon i'm not sure the msrp but i'm sure the msrp was at least 500 because i paid three so She's, oh my God, look at her, y'all. And I've had this bag, y'all, since I was living in Abilene. And I've been living down here for six years. So this bag actually is six, seven years old, y'all. Isn't she beautiful? Oh my goodness. Y'all, this video, I'm having so much fun going through all these purses. Okay, then look at this one, y'all. This actually used to be one of my favorite bags. This is a Michael Kor black and white bag now i'm selling this one only because it was a little bit too small for my liking but that's a tough bag too y'all she beautiful look at her i carried her maybe once or twice and i'll take really good care of my purses okay now let's go on to the next one okay since i'm always talking about my favorite designer being louis vuitton y'all i thought i'd show y'all one of my louis vuittons now i got two louis vuittons they're authentic I bought these off of eBay as well. No, wait. I got this one on eBay, and I got another one at the mall down here. They sell, like, pre-owned authentic bags. So, I got this off of eBay. Now, the one that I really want, y'all, is a $1,500 bag. That's the one I want. And, you know, with the Louis, sometimes the leather starts to get a little weird from you carrying it but this is definitely authentic so oh yeah i also have another one i'll just i'll probably insert a different video or just put a picture of it but the one i want matter of fact i'm gonna show y'all the one that i really want it's 1500 i'll show y'all here it is right here bam Oh my goodness, y'all. I had to sit down on this one. <laughs> now, I absolutely love this bag. This is a Lauren Ralph Lauren black and white. She kind of reminds me of like a travel bag because they're out there on the beach, out there. Y'all see the boats? <laughs> the children are playing. I got this this year, y'all, for my birthday. Now, she's beautiful. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Look at her. There's the sides. The strap is black and white stripe. It's actually pretty long, y'all. Look at that bag, y'all. There's the stripe. Strap. <laughs> okay, let me take this over here so y'all can really see, y'all. Oh my God, she is so beautiful. Look at that, y'all.
I'm telling y'all, love me a nice bag. I carried this a few times already. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I got this at Ross. The MSRP was $350. I also seen a red one over there, y'all. I had thought about getting her. I paid $99, so it was $108 with tax. Because the tax down here is, I think, 8 point something percent. Oh my God, y'all. I fell in love. <laughs> and I also have... Like a black and white dress that goes really good with this. It says Faith on the front. I took a picture. Actually, I took a picture on my birthday. Let me insert a picture. Oh my God, y'all so cute. I love it. I love her. She's so cute. Oh my goodness, y'all. Zach, Zach. Poison. It's either poison or posing. Y'all. He is a really good designer. This was my birthday purse a couple years ago, y'all. Look at that. If you ever see this, grab it. His purses are so beautiful. Look at the stitch, y'all, on that bag. This is basically called, um, I call this purse my, um, my going places purse because um it kind of looks like a little travel bag <laughs> y'all look at this bag let me put it up here so y'all can really see it the detail if you ever find this he doesn't even design no more y'all and i have three or four of his purses i used to have more but um i sold some to the basel trade i sold him a little burgundy one y'all the msrp was um $2.59. I took it up in there. And she was like, I never heard of this brand, right? I said, you'll sell it. The next time I went up in there, I said, did y'all sell that purse? And she was like, yep. People try to find these, y'all. Collect these and keep them because he does not design purses no more. I was like, Let me show y'all this pink one that's kind of like this one. This video is going to be a little bit longer than I thought. But yeah, let me show y'all this other pink one that's kind of like this one. It is so beautiful. And I also have a black one like this one not exactly like this one but it's, it's a different design and then y'all of course you know i got my little purse pictures because i love me some purses the little gucci the little dior we got the chanel over here oh yeah okay y'all so y'all might have seen this beautiful bag in one of my previous videos this is a brown Leather, Donna Karen, New York bag. She's leather. She's super cute, y'all. Look at that. I thought about taking her to the buy sell trade, but I still haven't made it over there yet, y'all. And if you already didn't know, Donna Karen, DKNY, the same designer, y'all. She's so cute. I like me like a solid color brown bag. Because, you know, you could pretty much match a brown bag up with pretty much anything. Like a white top with some jeans. You know, cute little maxi dress. So, Donna Karen, she has a really cute brand, y'all. And she has some really cute clothes as well. So, that's another bag that I really love. And I'm not sure. I've been thinking about taking her over there, but I don't know. We'll see, okay? Let's go to the next one. Okay, y'all. Here's another bag that I really love. This is a Michael Kors pretty pink and white bag. I got this off of eBay. I fell in love with this design. Look at her, y'all. Look at the stitch, y'all. She is so beautiful. Oh my God. Look at her. She looks like a little spring summer bag, doesn't she, y'all? <laughs> oh yeah. She's stuffed with one of my pillows, y'all. Okay, let me show y'all the bag. Absolutely beautiful. I hope y'all 
are enjoying the video. And I'm just so happy, y'all, about being monetized now. I enjoy, you know, making my content for y'all. And then, of course, watching y'all's too, if y'all are my subscribers and I'm also subscribed to your channel. <laughs> this purse is so beautiful. I also wanted to give out two shots, two shout outs to uh, Regina Michelle. I subscribed to her channel maybe like a few months back. She's absolutely wonderful. Her content is so positive. And then Melissa, the thrifty broad she always supports my channel and comments and i you know we comment on each other's channel it's so amazing how you can meet people on youtube you know i spend a lot of time on there now because i really have fun you know making my content but yeah shout out to them they always comment and say hey or like you know it's fabulous thanks to the both of y'all <laughs> But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to do a nice little video about all of my beautiful purses. I hope you enjoy the video. Kay Denise, I'm out.